As Chinese jets and warships come closer than ever, Taiwan is doing all it can to stand its ground. But most analysts agree. Taiwan stands almost no chance in a conventional war with China, whose military budget is estimated to be 22 times as large. The answer isn't to try to outspend China, but to outthink them, says Li Ximin, who until 2019 was Taiwan's top military officer. We have a very limited resources. You know, we, we just cannot invest any aspect that we want. So in my, in my view, we should focus on the existential threat. The existential threat, he says, is a full-scale Chinese invasion or blockade. To defend against that, Li says Taiwan should become a porcupine. We tell them if re really wants to invade us, you will have a big rules. You cannot afford it. Li is the main proponent of the so-called asymmetrical defense, which involves large amounts of small weapons. In Ukraine, those kinds of weapons have been very successful against the much larger Russian military. The problem is Taiwan spends much of its limited resources on big-ticket items, such as fighter jets and tanks, according to Li. I'm worried about all generals, all generals are still preparing the war for yesterday. But if we invest our money still on this kind of advanced fighter jets, warships, or tanks, you know, I, it's no doubt you will, you will fail. Another factor is the U.S. military, which President Joe Biden has insisted would defend Taiwan. But during China's recent drills, U.S. aircraft carriers stayed relatively far away. Lee says those mixed messages could undermine Taiwanese confidence in U.S. support. More reason, he says, for Taiwan to get the tools necessary to defend itself. Even we started from, from now, I, I, I don't know if it's too late. So I urge our governments, to, you know, do whatever we can to develop the asymmetrical capabilities. Weapons to make Taiwan too prickly for China to even think about swallowing. Bill Gallo, VOA News, Taipei.